Hey guys, today we are going to see how you can turn a regular 2D photo into a 3D version of itself. So here is a photo that I've taken with my uh, phone and you can see that this is just a plain regular 2D photo and this is a hue. So we are going to turn a hue from a static image into something like this. Pretty cool, right? To create 3D photos, we are going to use this project called 3D Photography using Context Aware Layered Depth in Painting. And this project has a lot of examples of how it works or demos from the project. And this is actually a paper that is available on Archive with the same name. Uh, of course, the the paper is freely available and most importantly the authors uh, have provided us with the complete source code and this is available on github so we're going to take a look at how you can use this let's open a google co-op notebook and see what this project can do for us so here i have uh, just a fresh notebook and you can see that it's already connected and we have uh, Tesla P100 right here. So we're going to use this. First, I'm going to start by installing some dependencies and I'm going to copy and paste those from my already completed notebook. So you can see that we are installing VSpy, MoviePy, Transforms, Network, KX, and we are also installing Set. Um, those four are actually dependencies for the 3D photography project itself. So I'm going to wait for those to complete. And next I'm going to add a new code cell right here. And I'm going to again copy and paste two helper functions that we're going to need. The first one is called show in painting and the second one is called show depth estimation. And you can see that here we are actually rendering some HTML, at least for the in painting one. We are rendering an image and then a video. And uh, we are going to use those to demo the image and the result of the in painting or the 3D photography. And then we have show depth estimation. Uh, the way that uh, this, this model works or this project works is uh, by first estimating the depth of the objects or the pixel of each pixel into the image and we're going to see the result of those depth estimations using uh, those the, at least this function. So let me execute this and now uh, we have pretty much an empty file system. I'm going to start by creating a folder called or directory called demo. And here I'm going to download two files that we've already in-painted. And this will be the doc and the doc in-painting that I've just shown you previously. Those are stored on my Google Drive, so we'll be able to get them quite fast. And next I'm going to call show in painting. I'm going to reference the doc image first, and then I'm going to reference the doc in painting video, which is an MP4 file. And this should take some time. And if I unzoom this, you can see that we have, let me go like this. So here we have the photo of the dog. This is a hill. And then we have the in painting result. So this will be uh, some sort of a showcase that we're using to have a look at how the model is doing for us or what is doing for us. All right, so next I'm going to 
go into the directory content with cd and I am going to clone the repo. using git next I'm going to enter the main directory which is this 3d photo in painting so this this will clone the repo into 3d photo in painting and I'm going to enter that directory and then I want to check out a specific commit so this is rather reproducible by you guys and next I'm going to execute this shell script which is from the repo itself it's download shell script so this one will go ahead and take some checkpoints for models you can see that they have a cover model, depth model, edge model and midas which is a model for estimating the depth of pixels in the image so finally I'm going to execute that script and this is pretty much taken from the notebook that is available from the project right here you can check it out uh, mine is uh, just a little bit more uh, deep I would say and if I run this you can see that we are cloning the repo and then checking out this particular commit and then the downloading of the model checkpoints begin so now that the downloading is complete we are going to dive a bit deeper into the structure of this and you can see that we have the midas which again is the estimator model for the depth and here we have some folders for depth for image and video so the guys have already provided us with a demo of what this project can do but I'm going to go ahead and wipe out those directories the depth then I'm going uh, not the directories but the contents of those directories the images and the videos so if I execute this these folders should be now empty yep so next I'm going to download some demo files that we are going to use uh, the two photos and uh, two photos one of the doc that we've already seen and another that I'm going to show you later and I'm going to download a config file which will basically be this that is already provided right here from the uh, repo itself and most of this uh, is pointing to the models and we are turning off off screen rendering so let me just go ahead and download those files I'm going to start with the config Next, I'm going to download the first demo image, which is going to be right, which I'm going to show right now after the download is complete. And finally, we have the doc image. JPEG. so now we have everything we need to do the actual in painting and I'm going to put a 3d in painting divider or text right here and the in painting is going to work on all of the images that are available into the image folder and those need to be JPEGs so we have two images right here and to do the actual in painting I'm going to run the main script and I'm going to pass in the config that we've just downloaded 
and let it run. So this will take some time. After everything is complete, uh, we can go and check the beginning of the process to get a feel of what is happening. You can see that we are starting with the castle image and the first thing that uh, the project is doing is actually loading the model paths or the pre-trained models. Then um, we see that it's writing some sort of depth image, then a mesh file and finally every, after everything is complete uh, it's turning those mesh files into a video and the video is done with MoviePy so that's why we need the dependencies for that one so now we can go ahead and basically see what uh, has happened here I'm going to open up the files again and you can see that we have depth files right here, we have the images and we have some videos. So let's start with the show depth estimation. Again, this is a helper function that we've created and I'm going to pass in the doc, the original doc image and the depth image of the doc. And I'm going to unzoom this. So this is the estimated depths for each pixel. And you can see that this is doing a very good job uh, because obviously whiter means that the depth is lower. So this is closer to the camera and this is a very good. Uh, the head of the dog is really the closest thing to the camera right here. And then you can see that the depth is gradually going further and further. But you can see a nice silhouette of the dock. And I'm going to show you the same thing for the castle image. And this is the castle image. Uh, this is actually taken in Belgrad. So you can see that the castle, again, it's very well uh, represented right here, the depth at least. So uh, let's continue with some videos that were created by the estimator. So I'm going to start with the dog video that we've seen and hopefully this should be reproducible with, with our project. And for the video, I'm going to take dog swing mp4. And if you open up the files, you can see that there are uh, four videos that were created for each image. And each video is actually a different kind of effect or a trajectory by which the camera is taken. So we are going to start with the swing, for example. And if I unzoom again, you can see that this video is the original one that I've shown you. And if I what the circle video we are going to see a different effect okay so this is the circle so you can see that there are some artifacts for example right here you can see that the pavement is not correctly impainted or imagined but still the effect is quite nice, at least on this image. And I'm going to copy this and basically do the same thing for the castle. And I'm going to run the circle again. So this is the original photo and this is the impainted variant. 
So this one is really quite good as well. And you can see that the depth can be seen very well right here. And if you go and look into the background of the buildings right there, you can see that this is a great effect. So let's try another one. Let's say we have this uh, dolly zoom in. So you can see that the camera is rather panning or something like that. And this is a really great effect, I think. So this is really cool. How this works? Well, the details are available into the paper. So if you go and see there is a section called method uh, and you, you can see that the method or the project requires an RGB-D image and this is a regular image that contains depth for each pixel basically. To take the depth of each pixel uh, you can use a dual camera device for example most of the modern smartphones uh, have two or more cameras and they can provide an RGB-D image. Or you can do some depth estimation using a model like Midas. And this is the Midas project. And this one is used by the project itself. So they're loading a checkpoint for this. And uh, this is from Intel ISL group. So they're using this to estimate the depth of each image and the resulting image is something similar to this one that we've seen. And after you have the depth, then you create a layered depth image. So a layered depth image looks something like this. So this is a normal image right here, for example. And then you have those, the same image, but basically layered. So we have multiple layers put on top of each other. And this is very similar to how uh, Photoshop works. If you know how you can use uh, Photoshop and layers. Next, then the next step is to detect regions with high uh, diversity of depth or high difference of depth. So for example, in the image right here, you can see that we have this depth right here that is very different on the animal right here and the background right here and even even in our case we have a depth difference a high depth difference for example over the head of the dog you can see that here and when you detect those regions they basically go and cut them out and in the background there uh, that is left there trying to imagine or generate the required pixels that should have been there. So this is an another example of that. So we have the initial layered image uh, and places with high difference into the depth are cut out and after the cutting is complete they're uh, basically uh, using this information right here that is available to create the background behind the cut it out region. So this is how you are basically getting uh, impainted background of the image and then you are merging everything together into another uh, layered depth image and you can do some trajectories and something like that using the camera effects that we've seen to get the final result. Another interesting thing about this project is how the training data was created. And uh, I'm going to do a spoiler right here. There is no 
original training data for that. So the authors had to create or generate it. And how do they do that? I'm going to link that into the tutorial that I'm going to uh, create for this video along with the full source code available into a Google Club or Jupyter Notebook. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.